Welcome to the Ever Black Podcast. On this episode, we talk to legendary Anthrax drummer Charlie Benante, who will be on tour down under this week for the Download Festival and sideshows with Slayer and Behemoth. Now, being a huge Anthrax fan, getting the chance to talk to Charlie was uh, just awesome. And we spoke about the, the upcoming tour, the new Anthrax album that's in the works, and of course, his work with the 501st, which is uh, the Star Wars charity organization. You can catch Anthrax this Thursday night, March 7, at the River Stage in Brisbane with Slayer and Behemoth. Then at Download Festival in Sydney on Saturday, March 9. Download Festival in Melbourne on March 11. And then wrapping up in Adelaide on March 13. Tickets are on sale now and you can get them through livenation.com.au. Don't miss out on Anthrax. They always put on a kick-ass show and uh, it's also the last time you're going to ever see Slayer in Australia. So uh, get onto it now. Before we go into my chat with Charlie, we have to mention that this episode is brought to you by Blacklight Art and Design, who are our go-to for our screen printing needs. They've done all our shirts and hats for Ever Black Media and uh, they've got such a quick turnaround. Go check them out. They're awesome. www.blacklightad.com blacklightad.com.au The show is also brought to you by our good friends at RW Promotion who are the best in the biz when it comes to stickers, flyers, banners, badges and all other promo you might need for your band or business. Go to www.rwpromotion.com.au I also want to give a shout out to Lumberpunks Axe Throwing Club who now have two venues in Queensland. One in Miami on the Gold Coast and the other at West End in Brisbane. Lumberpunks is an axe throwing club which is perfect for birthday parties or just hanging out with your mates. Each session is 1.5 hours in length and comprises of safety induction, instruction on tactical tomahawks and hatchets, and then competitive play. Now, if you mention Ever Black in your booking notes, you will receive 10% off your session, which is awesome. Now, terms and conditions apply, but uh, jump online to www.lumberpunks.com, book your session, and uh, have a great time. All right, here is my chat with Charlie from Anthrax. Go get your tickets to download Festival of the Sideshows now. It's going to be an absolute blast. Enjoy. Hey, Charlie, how are you, man? Hey, man, how you doing? Yeah, good, brother. We are less than a week away before you and the boys are down here for the Download Festival and it's sideshows with Slayer and Behemoth. Despite the travel, I mean, it's a long way for you guys to go. Are you and the boys as excited as what we are? Well, you know what? We were just talking about this the other day. Um, you have to understand, for us to come down to Australia, it's like a... It's a pretty big thing for us because we don't do it every day. You know what I mean? So, so we're extremely happy to to come back and come back in this way. You know what I mean? Like play in front of like you know so many people, and uh, you know it's always a great vibe down there. It's like Steve Harris once told me the first time we were going to Australia, I asked him. I said, "Hey, what's Australia like?" He's like, "Well." It's like America without the Americans. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. I didn't know if I should be happy or a little upset about that. <laughs> I guess we're a bit more, uh, our, our, our humor's a bit weird too. I yeah. hear that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good with that. It's like this weird sarcasm. <laughs> it's very English. Very, very English. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like the way you put that. Well, uh, of course, you're no stranger to playing the Download Festival. I mean, you've done the ones o- overseas, and it seems like it's starting to just blow up globally, which is amazing. What is it about Download Festival for you personally that does it better than any other festival? Well, I mean, this is going to be the first one in, uh, that we're doing in Australia and then Japan, so kind of looking forward to that. But, you know, for me, all festivals are just a fun time. I mean, not to be cheesy or anything but it, it has a a festive atmosphere and you get to see some bands that you would never see you get mm. to see some of your friends from other bands that you would never see all around i think it's a great thing especially for the for our fans and other fans i mean i think it's like you get to see all these bands together and it's like wow that's pretty cool yeah, I was a little bummed out about hearing about Ozzy, but um, mm. I understand. Yeah, I think a lot of people do. I mean, a lot of people are a bit bummed out, but um, but everyone understands. You know, we want Ozzy around a lot longer. 
you know what I mean? <laughs> it's more important he, he gets better. Right, exactly. Of course. We all need Ozzy. That's right. And, you know, the world uh, also needs anthrax. So, uh, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I know, I know. Because, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, we, we love having you guys down here. Uh, I've seen you guys, you guys so many times because you're one of my favorite bands. You know, I you probably hear it every day. I'm one of those dudes that grew up with you guys, if you know what I mean. So it's 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 always a pleasure to see you. And the last time I saw you guys was Soundwave, and that was quite a while ago. So uh, it's definitely a welcome return. And you touring with your mates Slayer, so and you've toured with them so many times throughout the years. Does it bum you out a bit that, you know, your buddies are calling it a day? You know, um, I guess it, it is a, a little bit. It, when I first heard about it, it was a bit of a shock. And uh, and then, you know, I kind of put it in perspective and I, I get it. And I understand why they want to call it a day. And it's cool. It's their, it's their decision. And I believe that, like, all of the other bands that are not with us anymore... Their, their music and their legacy just continues to live on, you know? So I believe that while they are going to call it a day, um, that's, that's their decision, and I respect that. That's, you know, they're going out on top. But you guys aren't stopping anytime soon, right? No, no, no. <laughs> that's good, because I don't think we can handle, uh, you know, a world without anthrax, let alone slay, you know? It's uh, not yet. You know, no, <laughs> I, I feel we have. I feel like we have a lot more in us, especially another album or two. Which uh, it, it, that's the thing that excites me is new music and being creative. Have you guys you guys been in the studio or writing at the moment? Uh, not at the moment. We 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 were. We got some things going on. Kind of a couple of things in the pot. <laughs> ah, I see. Is there anything that you can tell me? you know, about the new material without having to kill me? No, it's, 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 you know, there's, there's a, a, a collection of songs so far that are very, very, um, I would say a little more in the aggressive style. There's going to be a lot more coming, but as of right now, I think we're off to a really good start. So let's just leave it at that. Oh, man, I'm super excited. I'm super excited. Well, I mean, there seems to, especially the last couple of albums, there seems to be a bit of a bit of a theme. Like, worship music was a bit of a sort of zombies, walking dead sort of thing. For All Kings, maybe a bit of a Game of Thrones vibe. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. But um, is there a loose concept for the next one that you may be working on? Maybe a sci-fi, Star Wars, even maybe a Jaws theme? I mean, <laughs> Jaws. That, that's pretty good. I mean, I didn't really get... I mean, we did have a song about zombies on worship music and then Frog Kings. You know, the, the last three records that we did, I, I'm, I'm trying to tell a story, especially with the album covers and, and mm. stuff like that. But it's, it's not a concept or anything like that, what the music is. You know, it's, uh, it's just a collection of songs at at where we were at that moment, which is exactly what the next one is going to be. It's just a collection of songs that reflect where we've been, you know what I mean? So we've done a lot of shows with this uh, For All Kings record, and we've yet to come down to Australia with it. So we're going to try and do a mixture of, of, of everything. We don't want to disappoint our old school fans but we still want to play some of our new album too because mm. we enjoy it. And I think a lot of the old school fans enjoy it too. Oh, of course we do. So um, that was like one of my favorite albums of, uh, oh, what is it, 27? Oh, man, it's getting getting away from me. But um, a couple of years ago, but it's yeah, amazing. 20, oh, yeah, 2017. Wow, wow, man. Uh, and uh, of course, you're also a 501st member. Do you meet up with other garrisons and troop while you're on, on tour? I sometimes I do. There's a big Star Wars celebration that's gonna happen here in April that I'm hoping to go to. That's awesome because uh, one of our guys here, our photographer JV, who will be covering the Brisbane show, he's a member of the 501st here on the Gold Coast as well, and I've wanted to join for years. I, I think it's amazing, you know, the time and and the the heart behind it. It's yeah. a bit of a contrast, isn't it, between you know playing drums and and touring and and then doing doing that thing. I mean, what, what do you love about it the most? 
other than Star Wars. You know what? I've always been a Star Wars fan since back in the day. And then a couple of years ago, like I always said I wanted a Stormtrooper costume. I always wanted a Stormtrooper co- I want a Stormtrooper suit. I want a you know. And then finally met some people and I got one and they kind of took care of all the alterations for me. Mm. And they turned out to be from the uh, Chicago chapter. And um, I went trooping with them, and it was a fucking blast. (laughs) Man, that's awesome. We did have uh, a big celebration here on the Gold Coast. They've unfortunately stopped it now, uh, thanks to the mouse. But um, it was uh, at Dreamworld, big theme park here, and thousands and thousands and thousands of people would show up, and they'd have a big parade and uh, just raise heaps of money for charity. It was amazing. And it's a shame it's 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 not happening anymore, but uh, hopefully it'll come back because uh, I think it's a good thing, you know? Oh, I, I agree with you. It's fun. It just gives people an outlet and fans in general just a, uh, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just, like I said, it's just fun. Absolutely. And, uh, of course, uh, Anthrax War Dance Pale Ale. I love me a good beer. I saw that. What, what's, tell us about that. Can we get that down in Australia? Or I don't think you could get it in Australia. I mean, we're having a we're having issues getting it in certain states in America. Uh, um, we're trying to get it in in as many as we can, but it's hard. I would love for you guys to have it in Australia. <laughs> I would, but Maybe. we can't even we can't even bring it because then we'd be bootleggers. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a bummer. But hopefully, hopefully one day, um, you know, of course, what's uh, next for Anthrax? You know, you've got new material you're working on. Could we maybe see a, a headline tour, you know, maybe in another year or two? I think we're coming down there. That's what's on our mind right now. And then after that, we go to New Zealand and then Japan. And then we're going to hit some festivals in Europe. In between that, we're going to continue working on some new music as well. That's awesome, man. Well, uh, I definitely can't wait to see you guys in Brisbane, and I'm hoping to get my ass down to uh, the Sydney Download Festival next week. It's uh, just going to be unreal. I hope you and the boys have a have a kick-ass tour, man. Well, thank you. I appreciate this, and I'll see you soon.